This video is made for informational purposes only, and the opinions expressed are based upon my experience. The use of combo medicine is legal around the world, however, as with anything, please do your own research. Combo is not for everyone. This video contains purging and vomiting. Some footage may offend. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi everybody, it's uh, Sunday the 26th of August 2018, which means that it's my Cambo day, very first Cambo ceremony coming up this evening. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about it. I've had um, I've had, had a bit of time planning this and, and getting ready for it, and and the whole time I've I've felt great, I've felt at ease, I've felt at peace, and and uh, I haven't thought about it too much. I don't know whether I haven't allowed myself to think about it or whether it just hasn't been uh, needed to think about it until today. Uh, but probably starting from about 20 hours ago, uh, things just started to things started to come up and things started to happen that were I could tell were trying to sort of throw me off balance and, and take my focus off the Cambo ceremony that's coming up this evening. And it's funny how that happens all the time in life where we, we plan for something and when the day comes, somehow things come in, distract us uh, and try to sort of put us off keel. And I, and I guess that's what's happened to me today. I've, I've had very little sleep overnight um, and it's not because of worry or um, anticipation of today. It's, it's, I've, had a, I've had an overwhelming uh, feeling of peace. Um, but I've woken up this morning and I've, I've uh, been very emotional. And I don't know why. I, I, I guess sometimes you, you can't explain things and you just need to let things happen. Um, and I wasn't feeling too good this morning. I started questioning myself as to why I was actually doing this. I guess saying to myself, what on earth are you doing? And it's been emotional. But I know this is something that I need to do. And I know that the events of the last 24 hours have simply been things to, to throw me off keel. And to shift my train of thought. And I'm not going to allow it to do that. This is something I want to do. It's something I feel that I've uh, been drawn to do. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I wanted to say one thing that, that happened. I hopped in my car just before and I drove out the gate. And there was almost a bit of unknowing and uncertainty. And I was literally five minutes from home. And I received two texts within probably 15 seconds of each other. And they were just two texts from a couple of mates who were just wishing me well for today. I guess I needed it. And I want to thank those two guys because without them even knowing they just put me back on keel, back on direction, and it was a special moment. And I guess this is a lesson for all of us that sometimes a simple gesture or a simple thought or a simple text or phone call or a cuddle or, or anything, when you offer that to someone, you never know how they are going to accept that and what it may be going to do for them at that very moment call it the universe, call it instinct, call it whatever you like, but it happened and, it, and it, was a, it was a really good thing and I needed it. So thanks to those guys, they'll know who they are. And I just want to encourage everybody else that when you get a feeling inside you that you should say something to someone, you should do something for someone, 
just do it. Do it and try not to understand the reason for doing it, but just know that perhaps that is something that they really needed at that time. So I'll keep driving on my way and uh, I'll get back in touch hopefully just before the ceremony. See you later. Bye bye. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to shoot any video before the ceremony and neither were we able to film the Harpe or the Sananga medicines. These were served prior to each Kambo ceremony, but due to poor light, we couldn't get them on camera. Both of these are very powerful medicines in their own right, and I plan to make videos on both of these in the near future. So here I go into my second Kambo ceremony. And as with the first, I'm just taking a moment to set my intentions. Kambo is a very powerful medicine and it deserves your respect and your attention. So this is my second of the three ceremonies and I had uh, six burn points and believe you me, these are, are painful in themselves, but they're necessary because they allow access for the Kambo to go directly into the bloodstream. Generally the more burn points, the more venom that's entering the body. Drinking the water, my goodness, this is where it got hard for me. Two litres of water right before it, on an empty stomach, no food for 12 hours. It's pretty difficult, I must say. But uh, you need to do it because as your body squeezes the toxins back into your stomach, it collects in the water and then the water purges out the toxins. So, so it's a necessity. But as the boys will show you soon, this was a bit of a feat for me because I'm a bit of a terrible sculler. <laughs> 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 So applying the medicine, this is where it gets real, this is where it all starts to hit home. Basically weeks of planning and getting ready for this, preparing, fasting, all the emotions that I've run through. I'm finally realising that the ceremony started a long time ago and uh, this is only just the next part of it. I spent all this time not allowing my mind to overtake my feelings and now it's time to not let my body overtake my feelings and I guess this is where I'm about to head. So a couple of minutes in now and the venom's really ramping up. The, the physical experience is sort of a heat of sort of a numbness and it comes on like a wave that's sort of uncontrollable. So now the medicine starts doing its work. It's getting your body to squeeze all of those toxins out into the water that you drank previously and then you're able to purge that water out along with all the toxins. I understand that some of you may be uh, wondering what's going on here and I can explain it quite simply. I'm, I'm hitting the wall and I'm fighting my ego. It's similar to what a, a long distance runner might experience when they, they think that there's nothing left in the tank. And basically what I experienced here was I found a point where I couldn't physically go on or mentally go on any further. And I came to a point where I detached from my thoughts and my body and I realized that I am not my body and my mind. I'm far more than that. And I guess this was the spiritual awakening of who I really am. So purging during the Kambo ceremony comes in lots of different ways. And now I just start sweating, just sweating all over my body. And it sort of actually brings a little bit of relief. There are bits of euphoria throughout the whole process of Kambo. So it's a funny sort of love-hate relationship, really. Kambo has an amazing way of teaching you things. It takes you to your, your deepest, darkest area because it needs you to let go of your body and your mind. You're then open to hear, to listen to be able to learn and right now it's taking me on a, a journey of learning how to breathe, to breathe into things, to control my mind and my body through my breathing. So 40 minutes in it's all getting a bit hot now, I'm sort of getting hot flushes throughout my body but uh, mainly concentrated around my head and my, 
uh, neck as I'm sort of illustrating now. But again, it's, it's sort of unpleasantness mixed with euphoria at the same time. It's really odd. This is perhaps one of the funniest uh, times I look back on in my Kambo experience. It's, it's, it's a, a pure moment of me battling my ego. My ego is telling me I can stop this, I can stop, I've done enough work. But deep down inside I know that I need to carry on. My good friend Totes is trying to get me to drink water because he knows there's more to come out. Water is incredibly difficult to drink during Kambo. So my ego is doing everything it can to tell me I don't need it. And at this point, I finally cracked it. And I realized that I'm not my ego and I don't need to listen to my ego. And as soon as I stop listening to it, I can move forward. Now some of you might be about to listen to this and be thinking what the heck is going on here and I want to tell you if you've never let unwanted energy out of your body in this way by yelling it out from the depths of your stomach then you really need to experience it it's an unbelievable release of unwanted tension and it could have been built up for years for many years and it's an amazing feeling to release this if you ever feel like you've just clogged up with energy go out go into a space where you're on your own and scream it out As you can see, the combo seems to be wearing off quite a bit now, uh, and you're just left feeling extremely tired, and you just need to lay down and, and relax for a while. It's, it's a very nice, peaceful stage. After about 10 minutes of resting, I, I really deepen into my peaceful state, and then I start to shake, but the peace is still there. It's just a shaking coming from within. And then finally I remember my breathing I was taught and I go into it and the shaking stops and I just fall into a, an amazing sense of peace. So there you have my Trinity Combo experience. Three ceremonies over three days, each so very different. And I hear you say, well, for what reason would anybody put themselves through something like this? 
And I guess all I can say is that if what I have experienced and what I have learned, what I have felt, if, if this has been true, then I say, why the hell not? The people of the Amazon forest have been using this medicine for literally thousands of years. And I must say, we Westerners, we really do need to listen and to learn from them. Kambo has an amazing ability to heal us both physically and spiritually. And for me, what might have started as an interest into the health benefits of Kambo, very quickly turned into a very deep and spiritual experience. And on the physical side, I've lost around about 10 kgs. I'm eating extremely well. I seem to be sleeping well. Uh, I have so much energy. I'm walking every day. I'm drinking lots of water. I'm not craving anything. Health-wise, I don't think I've felt better since my teens. And on a spiritual side, I just don't really know where to start. I can now observe my thinking and not let it control me. I've learned to not suffer pain and rather to embrace it and to understand that what will be is what is at that moment. And to not allow sickness to become a part of me. I am not my sickness or my illness of my past. So I guess what I'm saying is that my Kambo experience has been nothing short of life-changing. I didn't enter into this experience blindly. I researched it for some months, watching literally hundreds of YouTube clips about the subject. I watched countless personal experiences just like mine. And you know what? They all said the same thing. How truly beautiful it was for them. So I'm making this video to give back. To give back to those who are on the same path or doing the same searching that I did. That hopefully I can provide you with the truth and education that can help you make wise decisions for your own path. But don't take my word for it. There are many paths and Kambo is just part of my path. If you have a desire for something in life, just be open and you will find it. Anyway, until the next video, take care and live free.